Hello and welcome. How to solve this math oriented problem? A squared equals to b plus 1 into 3. B squared equals to a plus 1 into 3. Find a comma p in which we are given a condition a is not equal to b. Now solution. Now given that a squared equals to p plus 183 and that p squared equals to a plus 183. So let us put this one, equation 1, and this is equation 2. Now subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So we have a squared equals to p plus 183 and we have p squared equals to a plus 183 now let us subtract between these equations let us find the difference between these two equations so here we have by subtraction we have a squared minus p squared equals to p minus a this one and this one cancels because they are equal which means that by bringing everything to one side of the equation we have a squared minus p squared plus a minus p equals to zero we have taken everything to one side of the equation now here let us factorize this one the first two terms they form the difference of two squares so here we have a minus p into a plus p so this is the factorization of the difference of two squares plus a minus p equals to zero as you can see a minus p is common let us pull it out further let us pull it out so we have a minus p into so when we take this one out we remain with a plus p plus when we pull out a plus p we remain with one so it's like we put brackets here and there exists one here therefore plus this one here equals to zero now by the application of the zero property we have two factors on the left hand side so we have a minus p equals to zero or a plus p plus one equals to zero so for the first case we have a equals to p or a plus p equals to negative one but there's a condition here that a is not equal to p therefore the first case will be rejected for this one here this one here should be rejected because of the condition now let us apply this one into use so let us call this one equation 3 now let us add equation 1 at the 2 now add equation 1 and equation 2 so we have we have a squared equals to p plus 183 and we have equation 2 p squared equals to a plus 183 now by addition so if we add these two equations we have a squared plus p squared that's the left hand side equals to a plus p the order doesn't matter plus this time is two so so here we have three plus three we get six eight plus eight you get sixteen so we put six we call it one 1 plus 1 equals to 2 plus 1, 3, so 366. Now let us call this one equation 4. Now here in equation 4, 
substitute the value of a plus p equals to 1 into this equation into equation 4. Now let us put negative 1 for a plus p. So it follows that a squared plus p squared equals to minus 1 plus 366 which gives us a squared plus p squared equals to 365 this is a lucky number equivalent to number of days in a full year now let us call this one equation 5 now next square both sides of equation 3 equation 3 is given by a plus p equals to negative 1 so if we square we have a plus p squared equals to negative 1 squared so this one gives us by using binomial expansion so we have a squared plus p squared plus 2ap equals to 1 now here we know that a squared plus p squared from equation 5 is 365 now substitute the value of substitute the value of a squared plus p squared in this equation which equals to 365 now by substituting into this equation here next we have 365 plus 2ap equals to 1 let us subtract 365 from both sides so we have 2ap equals to 1 minus 365 so this one gives us negative 364 so we have 2ap equals to minus 364 now let us divide both sides by 2 so we have divide by 2 divide by 2 this one and this one cancels and 2 goes here minus 182 so it means that a p equals to minus 182 now by making b the subject here we have it implies that by dividing both sets of discussion by a so that we make p the subject p equals to minus 182 over a so let us call this one equation 6 now substitute equation 6 into equation 3 now substitute equation 6 that is p equals to negative 182 over a into equation 3 so equation 3 is given by a plus p equals to negative 1 but we know the value of p so let us put it here so we have a plus minus 182 over a equals to negative 1 let us multiply both sides by the LCM which is A to eliminate the fractions. Next, this one can be written as plus minus. So simply we have A minus 182 over A equals to negative 1. Now by cross multiplication to eliminate the fractions, the LCM is A. So we have A squared minus 182. equals to minus a by rearranging in the standard form we have a squared plus a minus 182 equals to 0 now this is a quadratic equation 
in which we are required to solve. Now let us obtain the factors of the factors of 182. Now here we have that 182 can be written as 14 times negative 13. 14 times negative 13, you get this. So this equation is going to be written as a squared plus a minus 13 times 14 equals to 0. Now let us express a in terms of these factors. So we have a squared minus 13a plus 14a minus 13 times 14 because negative 13 times 14 you get negative 182 equals to 0. Now by factorizing the first two terms and last two terms so we have a is common in the first two terms so we have a into a minus 13 plus 14 is common in the next two terms so we have 14 into a minus 13 equals to 0 so a minus 13 is common so we have a minus 13 into a plus 14 equals to 0 so by the application of the zero product property we have a minus 13 equals to 0 or a plus 14 equals to 0 which means that a equals to 13 and here we have a equals to negative 14 so you can see we have two cases so this is the first case and second case but a plus p equals to negative 1 so that p equals to negative 1 minus a and this one is important now let us use this relationship to find the value of p in case 1 and the value of p in case 2 so here we have p equals to minus 1 minus a by putting 13 for a we have p equals to minus 1 minus 13 so that p equals to p equals to 14 which means that for the first case a comma p equals to this value here and this one equals to 13 now this is negative 14 because negative 1 minus negative 13 gets negative 14 13 comma negative 14 now let us come for the second case here we have this relationship which means that p equals to minus 1 now if we substitute a for negative 14 so we have minus minus 14 so this is equivalent to minus 1 minus minus becomes positive so plus 14 so this is the value of p so p equals to here 13 so which means that we have obtained a comma p in the second case so this one gives us a comma p to be equivalent to negative 14 comma 13 so we can conclude that a comma b equals to 13 comma negative 14 or a comma p equals to negative 14 comma 13 now these are the values that satisfy our system of equations and that is it thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to get new updates when i upload new videos don't forget to smash the like button share and comment below to make this video rich many people